Yo YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Habo back with another video and as you guys can see we are playing something totally different. In the background video we have some Hyperscape Battle Royale. Now this game is a lot of fun, I do have to tell you guys that. In the basis game modes you have solo, trios, and the LTM that we are showcasing today, Faction Wars. Now Faction Wars is that, you know, big game mode like Team Rumble or 50v50 or uh, Warzone Rumble, you know, stuff like that. But in this one, it is a 25v25v25v25, 25 25 25, or typically is, uh, just depending on how many players you could get. Sometimes the servers are a little wacky. You know, it can't get all 100 people in there, but that's the basis of it. And, uh, you know, it's like that Team Rumble, or the uh, 50v50, I should say, because you don't really technically get the respawn once you're dead. Um, you know, something happens that I'll, I'll, I'll explain later on in the video. But yeah, as you can see in the top left corner, uh, there's 18 on orange team, 22 on purple team, 20 on blue team, and 20 on green team. I am a part of the orange team. Now this is going to be showcasing a big fat W that we had here. 14 kill game that we had here, and it is absolutely insane. But I kind of wanted to go over this game and explain to you guys how everything works because some of you guys might not know about this game, and I don't want to just leave you guys with some gameplay and have you guys lost. So as you guys can see, I am in a ball right now. That ball is a ability that you could get across the map by floor loot or a uh, ammo box, or, you know, stuff like that. You can pick it up just by, um, you know, searching around the map. There are these things called abilities. Now, each ability is unique in its own way. You have things like turning into a ball. You can place a wall. You can do a big slam in the air. You can place a shock wave. You can go invisible. You can become invulnerable. Things like that. And another thing is, each weapon is unique to its own way. You know, this gun right here is a sniper, of course. Uh, we shit that nasty snipe right there, absolutely insane. And uh, I, I do gotta say, the weapons do play out perfectly. Now, if you're using a, a sniper or the pistol that I have as a secondary, the D tap, which is one of those that, um, if you guys ever played Apex, it's like the smart pistol where it automatically aims in, or not Apex, but I should say Titanfall 2. It automatically does the aiming for you, and all you gotta do is shoot. And, uh, you know, it's one of those overpowered weapons. Uh, if you use something like the Riot 1 pistol, it has a high DPS and everything on it. But uh, some weapons are a little bit different, like the Hexafire. It is a Gatlin gun or a mini gun in which there's small amounts of damage, but you can put like 200 bullets in that thing, which makes it, you know, a, a balance. It's easily balanced. And that's what I love so much about this game. Everything's easily balanced, as you can see. That guy's going to run away. We're going to hit this guy for 50. 50 on sniper shots is perfect. Two-hit kill. You know, uh, say like if you were on the receiving side of a sniper shot, you don't want to die one shot to a sniper in this game, in a BR game, right? Sometimes you can, sometimes you won't. It just depends on what health you are. As you can see, when that guy died right there, he placed a little yellow thing on his body and had a little triangle thing this is where I was talking about earlier where if you end up dying you could have a respawn but technically not a respawn it works the same way as a reboot van in Fortnite say like if you end up dying you could go to the one of those things and uh, you could get rebooted by your teammate but the thing about that is you have to kill an enemy for it to happen and you cannot get one whenever you die you can't just go to your own only the enemies can go to that one so it's a little bit different, a little bit wonky, as you can see. We just did a slam right there to get that guy out of his ball. A slam counters everything, and uh, you know, say if you're in a ball, it's automatically gonna one-shot him out of there. Uh, instead of having to shoot him three or four times with bullets and get him out of there, as you can see, I'm using the ball to get out of tough situations when I'm being fired upon by many different teams, many different people. So it all helps in the end. Each ability has its own unique status and own unique way of uh, playing the game and how it's played out. As you can see, we're going to walk up to another ball right there. We're going to pick that up and, uh, you know, it did something called a fuse. Now, with these things, you could fuse weapons, abilities, and you name it. And uh, they basically just, it's an upgrade system. So whenever you fuse an ability, it makes it, you know, reduce cooldown time or reduce... Um, you know, height or, or increase a height, not reduce. Uh, say like if you're using a slam and you get a, a fuse for it, 
you could go higher up in the air also with a reduced cooldown and you know, some of them end up going up to a, such a high upgrade that you stack both of them together which is absolutely crazy as you can see we're using this uh this d tab pistol here and it's automatically locking on for me boom 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 not even having to really aim here but you know it, easy six damage beam them out of the air one of the most overpowered pistols in the game if you can level it up all the way as you see that guy placed a respawn beacon for any of my teammates to use and none of his teammates can use it only uh you know my team and the other three teams or the two teams out there can use it not any of his teammates which is kind of weird for this mode i say like you just can't use your own that would be good but uh unfortunately that's not the way it works but yeah guys this game mode is a lot of fun I think you guys should go try it out. This game is free this month. Uh, actually, I think it's free on all consoles. I, I often get it confused with being free on PS Plus for PS4, but I think it's free for everyone to try out. You don't need PS Plus or anything. And uh, it's, it's absolutely insane. Another free BR taken over the gaming community by Storm. As you can see, that guy just placed a wall. There's another little counter, another cool ability you could use right there. As you can see, we pull out an AR. Now the thing about the AR is, you know, good accuracy and everything, but only 12 damage. Which adds up if you can hit your shots. Really cool. And I slammed that guy. Got him really weak, so we're going to go chase him. Yeah, and it, this game is a lot of fun. I highly suggest you guys try it out. That guy just used a magnet on me. I can't hit my shots. I suck at this game. But, yeah, we got a 14 kill game. But what I'm going to do, guys, is let the rest of the gameplay roll out for you guys. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know down in the comments if you ever tried Hyperscape out, if you've tried this LTM out. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Signing out. Peace, guys.
Mission tender, a sector has collapsed. to collapse. 